Welcome back. Uh, Sick Minds, Mac and Eric. I'm Eric. That's Matt. We have some uh, crazy shit to talk about. So, um, I know we touched on the topic of like Yu Yu Hakusho coming out as a live action and whether or not I would be okay with it. And I'm still up in the air about it. Uh, but that got me thinking what else do we want to see have the anime treatment? Uh, either a remake or animes that like stopped being for whatever fucking reason or that were so good but the ending was bad that we want to see done. <laughs> And my favorite topic, actually, what video game would make a great anime? Final not, Fantasy. Not, not, <laughs> not show. Well, I mean, Final Fantasy could be, they could be independent stories, like little shorts and stuff, right? But I'm talking about, like, what game or series has so much lore that it could only be handled as an anime oh. and not really a live action? And I'm thinking Metal Gear Solid. Well, there's that, but I also have plenty of other games in my mind now that the way you described like it. Like Dark Souls and yeah. Demon Souls and yeah. yeah, of course. Bloodborne. The Souls games basically. Just the Souls universe like right would be a lot oh. better as an anime than it would be as a movie. Yes. Or a TV show. I feel like video games in general would be better as anime. Than movies or TV shows. Well, Metal Gear, I think, is one of the few exceptions that actually I can't really say you can't go wrong with it because apparently they did with Uncharted, and I didn't watch Uncharted, so. The <sighs> I feel like Metal Gear would have been great before they started introducing all the supernatural shit to it. Well, you just At that it. point, it's an anime. Just ignore Metal Gear Solid Five. You're fine. Okay, and uh, and two, and, and Snake Eater. Well, two. two the, the entire fucking franchise. Not really. Like the only Psycho par- Mantis. Yeah, that's the only like tip, like paranormal thing. Like he's not like. Not, like they could do the effects for it. Nowadays. Oh, they could do the effects. They could do the I effects for like- it nowadays. Whereas if you tried doing it like '90s and early 2000s, it would be plain heart, hot garbage. It would be awful. Yeah, and, but they could still pull it off in '90s anime. Yeah, but I would love to see like a live action Metal Gear, and just seeing like how massive it is, and like you see what you're going up against like when you're playing a snake, but watching it like in a theater though would be incredible my opinion it would make a, a fantastic blockbuster movie like action movie of the uh one of those uh summer blockbuster action movies i see that it'd be fantastic um, <clears throat> i would love it but they would probably fuck it up somehow even though like those type of games are clearly you know the games are written like movies but hey let's change the story instead of just doing a carbon copy of it okay but now what do you want to see as an anime game wise all right well besides final fantasy because that would be honestly some of those games would just be perfect animes like no doubt i feel like there are too many at this point <laughs> yeah, but... there's too many I, uh, aren't they making a zelda anime now like i'm pretty sure you can do a final fantasy anime the problem with these animes, right, is like they they don't end. And, and, and hear me out, right? If you know it's going to take you three seasons to tell the entire story, you can leave season one at a cliffhanger so you're more excited for season two and then season three and then finish it. But you need to finish it. Or... Create an anime, create a world, right, where you can tell an entire story in one season. And if it's good and people want it and you want to make another story, you can start season two off completely fresh 
still having season one in, in the past, right? But like, don't reference it too much because then people are going to feel left out. Like, oh, I need to start from season one. But continue with a different story, a new story. And then, but it needs to be complete. You need to plan it out, and it needs to be complete every season. Well, that's why, like, Final Fantasy VII could work actually really good as an anime. Because you can start it off with it being, like, part one of Remake, where Cloud goes and, you know, helps destroying the reactors and stuff. But for season two, you can have it be, like, Tifa's, not Tifa's, um, Yuffie's side story, where she's going from her home place to Midgar and everything and trying to find Avalanche and all that and why she's become like this is pretty much Matera, uh, Matera Hunter. I see what you're saying where you want your seasons to be based around the character story and it doesn't have to be involved. The first character doesn't have to be involved in the second season. And that makes for great character development Especially, like, when they finally do team up or meet or whatever is going to be. Now, I'm speaking outside of just Final Fantasy at this point. That way you're more invested in these characters. And I 100% agree on it. Like, if you had... and Let's bring back Naruto, because oh, this is something we both know <laughs> very well. Oh, had Season 1 just been about the village and... Um, ninjutsus, taijutsu, and genjutsus, just just filling you with the knowledge of how the world works, right? As they're going to school, that would have made sense for season one because they are going to school. They are learning these things. You are learning with them. You are also learning about these characters. Season two can go more in depth about why Naruto is um, shunned from the town, why nobody seems to like him, you know, get into his backstory. Um, now I understand you want to keep certain things a secret, like who his father was and shit like that, which fucking whatever. <laughs> like, yeah, I feel like, like that's now, kind of fucking important, but whatever. We'll leave I mean, it. We'll let it be. If you think about it now, <laughs> I feel like his mother's side is more important than who his father was. Because yeah, but he didn't know either, so, yeah. like, it doesn't fucking and matter. Anyway. I think at one point, he just thought the Uzumaki name was just given to him, when, realistically, he's part of the Uzumaki clan, which, by the way, was their own village that got destroyed by three other nations because everyone feared them. See, that story could have been its own season. They could have done their own season on all of this. Like, they could have done... Uh, a season on just the Uchiha's, even though I feel like that's all of Naruto, but whatever. That's all of Naruto. Are you kidding me? It shouldn't even be called. It shouldn't even be called Naruto because let's be real, their main protagonist might as well have been Sasuke because it, you know, Sasuke, yeah, this Sasuke, it that. Have. Oh, the Uchiha's are these big, powerful bad guys. Like fuck but you. <laughs> like why? Are we how much more this enjoyable Naruto? would it have been though had they told the same story that they told, but they they focused on one character a season, oh, right? Dude, well, besides the fact that it'd be as long as One Piece, it would have been fantastic. I would have been okay with that too. <laughs> but like, <laughs> I'd still be okay with that. Like, I don't know. Some characters probably would have been like, like Choji. Like, do do yeah, you really I need? I would have completely ignored that whole clan. To be quite honest, <laughs> <laughs> I, don't, I don't give a fuck about that clan at all. <laughs> I'm like, okay, that's cool, I guess. Let's move on. But like <laughs> you know what it just reminded me of? It, it it's like, yes, that's that's nice indeed. Anyways. <laughs> oh Loki yes, just... very, very sad. <laughs> oh man. Or or I already felt like really bad for Shikamaru when he lost his sensei. But like, could you imagine? A season where it's Shikamaro, and then oh, when that like. fucking se- like, I would have bawled my fucking eyes out, and I was almost there already. <laughs> I mean, I bawled my eyes out watching Naruto like completely just go into complete depression when when he found out Jiraiya died. Oh yeah, no, that like, was fucking rough. Like that 
the whole thing made me sad. And I'm like, you know what's Woo! sad though? <laughs> um, the Rebecca didn't like Jiraiya. I mean, he is a pervy sage. Yeah, I mean, I get it, but like. He, he he's just so important in Naruto's life, and the fact that I had to like cut out a lot of filler, and it just dawns on me, Jiraiya's in a lot of fucking filler. Yeah, because okay, <laughs> okay I'm hot take Kishimoto, the guy that made Naruto, did not know what the fuck he was doing half the time. He That's really fine. That makes good anime. Yasha. But- what are you doing? She's, oh. she's just walking around. Stare at me like that. She's like, motherfucker, right. you have me trapped here. <laughs> and I do like, have I, Honestly, here. I can spend a whole podcast episode just talking about how much of an idiot he was. But I'm just going to stop myself because... I because he's also a genius. He's not really a genius, though. He left so many plot holes and retconned so much. He created something that you actually have an issue that he had plot holes. Yeah, and I write fan it, fiction it, for it, it, too. It's so. literally <laughs> wild to the left, wild to the right. It's a full fucking swing. He created the whole world, but you have problems because, you know, Ujiha. For whatever. Like, it, it doesn't fucking matter. It, it, it's just like, okay, but Sakura. Like, what, you know? It's like, okay. You you have to take the good and the bad. Because yeah, what's really good is really fucking anime. good. <laughs> and then... No, no, no. I'm saying, like, the whole romance thing. Like, but, well, like, what about Sasuke? Anyway. So... I will go off on a tangent... We'll get hate comments. Yeah, that's the last thing we need. <laughs> or do we? We can, like, call people out and send that around. No, no, no. We can't do that yet. No, no, no. <laughs> we, can't, we can't do that yet. <laughs> um, what other video games, though, to get off of the whole Naruto topic? Dude, so I feel like any RPG is just too easy. Yeah, that's right. Because. Excuse. Even Mario RPG, which is a great fucking game, would ama- would make a great fucking anime. So let's let's try to make it difficult. I got right? one. I got one. What? Streets Go for of it. Rage. Streets of Rage. Streets of Rage would be a hell of a movie, or just like even not even like an anime, or just like a normal TV series, because it's not far fetched. I don't. I feel fully. like it's just Fast and the Furious, but without the cars. No, it's more of a crime TV show, to be honest, because there's no... First off, if we're, if we're doing that, then Fast and the Furious <laughs> got it from Streets of Rage. All right? <laughs> <laughs> I like how you had the pause there. You're like, wait a minute. <laughs> but, like, Streets of Rage would be good. Like, it's... Nobody, like, no one probably really remembers Streets of Rage besides our generation, and then people got reintroduced to it because of Streets of Rage 4, which is a f- fantastic game. So yeah, um, trying to think of what else. Do we want to go old school? Because I feel like a lot of action RPGs would be great animes, like Fallout and uh, you I feel know like Fallout the, uh, would be a little bit tough to. Well, no, because it's anime, so it wouldn't be that tough to do. Right, like a post-apocalyptic. Just you, they. I mean, they do the am, uh, amnesia thing all the fucking time. So why not with Fallout? Just like, oh, I fell into a a time thing, like Futurama style, and then instead of being woken up in the future with robots and stuff like that, you you wake up still in the future, but everything is fucking gone to shit. So I guess a lot like Futurama. <laughs> <laughs> I'm like, where the fuck's he going with this? <laughs> what? It's tough to think about, like, you know, the crazy thing is, is we're going to do this episode, and then after the episode, we're going to be like, oh my god, why didn't we see that game? You know, it's going to be one of those things. Outriders would make a fucking terrific anime. Yeah, it would. We need to get the DLC, because we need to play it. Yeah, I have it downloaded. Not the DLC, but the I re-downloaded the game. So I whenever we're, we're ready, we could just hop back in. That would probably have to be Saturday. 
I can do Saturday. And, well, that's we'll talk about that later. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Half the show is just us making plans. <laughs> uh, you free Saturday? I don't know. I'm free Saturday. I'm free Saturday. Saturday. You free Saturday? All right. Okay. Yeah, all right. Um, you know, it's not a video game or anything, but it's a book. Harry Potter would be a good, would be a Harry good Potter anime. would make an amazing fucking anime. Um, the problem with Harry Potter as an anime is that somehow the anime would be longer than the books. You know what I mean? Which like I'm not, I wouldn't complain about to be honest. I wouldn't complain about it, but they there'd be some bullshit fucking so, fillers. What I would love to see if like they did like a Harry Potter anime is delve dwell deeper into like the whole Wizarding World politics. You know what I mean? Like because the pure bloods and brain are all like we're pure bloods, we're lords, we're all this and that. Like, we're superior than you. Like, I would love to see them, like, delve deeper into, like, the whole political ring of everything. So it really wouldn't be about Harry Potter. It would just be about the Wizarding World, to be honest. But, you can like, see that. I mean, like, don't have a main character. Just have uh, plots and stuff about around the world. Yeah. And if you were to do Harry Potter, I would say make it, try to make it your own without J.K. Rowling having any influence in it because one fuck her two it's just like i love the books but she's not that great of a writer because she also had well i guess we can say she's a great right not like an okay writer because there's just a lot of plot holes and it makes you discuss it and there's a lot of characters that get introduced and then there's nothing really after that i would just love for them to dwell deeper into character development for these characters or do like a what if ser- series with Harry Potter, being like, what if Harry didn't meet Ron first and became his first friend? What, what if Ron did die in that chess match? What if? What if? <laughs> what if Harry wasn't a lazy fuck because of Ron? You know, like there's so many things you could do. And for some reason, all of them are currently siding with what if Ron didn't do this, or what if Ron wasn't there. What if Ron- <laughs> Ron's so important to the story. It's mind boggling. Because he's an asshole. A lot of the things that happen is because Ron's an asshole. But if Ron wasn't there, Harry would have died a lot. No, if Hermione wasn't there, Harry would Hermione die. wasn't there, the school would be fucking disintegrated. You know what it would be? You know what it'd be like? It would be like one of those things, uh, like when it was like what if this happened? And then it'd be like, end of the movie. <laughs> like, here's the ending credits. It's like, what if Hermione died at that troll? Well, they're all fucked. That's it. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> like, okay. It's over. Back up everything. It's gone. You know what I'm saying? Like, who would have figured out what was, it was a basilisk? First off, how did Dumbledore not know it was a basilisk? Anyways, we're going to stop talking about Harry Potter now. We're getting sidetracked. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Harry Potter is a good one. Harry Potter is a good one. Um, what about Fire Game Emblem? of Thrones? Could have been a ga- Ooh, Fire Emblem would have been. Yeah, I can see that. Because there's there's plenty of different stories out there that they could continue. It would be like the Fate series. How like Fate, like Fate is long running, but it's always a different story. You know what I'm saying? I got one for you. Ooh, okay. All right, all right. Ready? Ready? I'm ready. I'm ready. It's not it's not super serious, but it'd be one of the only animes that you would laugh your ass off every time you fucking watch it. Are you about to say South Park Stick of Truth? <laughs> no, because it's already a show. This is a video game okay. that if they were to make a show around it, I'd fucking watch it. Ratchet and Clank. It would be good. That would be good. Same with like Banjo Kazooie and I don't know if you could do Donkey Kong. Hey, you could do Donkey Kong, but it wouldn't be. A, I don't know how the story would go. The fact that there's like spaceships and shit with Ratchet and Clank. Yeah. Or um, who was the other one that was out with uh, Ratchet and Clank? It was like Jack and Daxter or something like that. Oh, Jax would be a great anime. I remember playing Jax three, and I got. Uh, this is when I was younger and, and more stupid. Uh, I didn't know what to do next, so I stopped playing. 
<laughs> Those games were ridiculously hard, especially like if you didn't have a strategy guide. Yeah. It, because there were some certain parts of the world where if you got too far, you would never think, oh, I need to backtrack all the way to the beginning of the fucking game because I forgot this one thing. And now you opened up so much shit that you're just like, I don't know where to go. Oh, I got one. I got one. And it just left my head, so never mind. I Castlevania? Have well, Castlevania's already an anime. I, I know. And it was pretty good. Oh, I need to catch up on that. Oh my god, it was just in my head, because you were just talking about... Oh, Star Ocean. Star Ocean would be a good anime. Star Ocean would be the shit. Look at these two. They're staring each other down. Yeah, I know. I, I saw that. I'm like, I'm like, what are you going to do? Come on back, Dad. Dude, that cat... <laughs> That cat will literally find the dog when the dog's sleeping and smack her in the face and be like, bitch. And the dog's <laughs> like, the fuck did I do? <laughs> yeah. Yeah, it's just like, just you wait. You're com- you're going to get these hands there. <laughs> <laughs> Star oh Wars would be a fantastic anime. Star Wars, yeah. Not a cartoon. I like an anime. If we got the anime treatment, have you seen any of like the Star Wars uh, little or minis? No. Or no. yeah, whatever they're called, I can't remember what they're called. They they were pretty good, so I I would agree with you that if they were to make uh especially the the one with the samurai, fucking beautiful. I would beautiful. love a samurai lightsaber. Give me a katana lightsaber. Well, you know that's what they were they, that what they were going for, right? Like all uh, the lightsabers, that's why the 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 fight scenes were slow and methodical at first. It was supposed to be like those that the tension was supposed to be built by like the non movement because at any moment any strike can kill. Yeah. So um... it wasn't until Phantom Menace where it's just like fuck it, whirlwind, <laughs> where they went crazy and shit like that. <laughs> And we were like, you know what? I'm okay with this too. <laughs> <laughs> I'm trying. I was gonna say a game that would be a good anime, but it already has its own technically, and that's pers- the Persona series. Okay. Well, what about what about animes that you want to see come back or given the modern treatment? Things um, that like didn't age well. See, I think but you, you still enjoyed. Show. I think Yu Yu Hakusho has aged well. But I do too. If I was to give it its treatment, like, graphics-wise, I would want it to be Demon Slayer art. Okay. Okay, yeah, I can see that. Because, you you want an HD remaster, not a yeah. remake or retelling, an HD remaster, if, which I am 100% for. I would totally be okay with that. Because Yu Yu Hakusho just followed the manga like there was no filler i would pick inuyasha because the world is there the characters are there but it has that problem that plagued the 90s which was just they censored the fuck out of everything (laughs) you know what i mean yeah so Give it the the modern treatment of speed up the story, get rid of the fillers, stay focused on character relations and development, and get through the fucking story, because I still haven't finished it. Do you understand how old this fucking anime is? I always make it to the same spot, and I go, what? Oh, fuck, how many episodes did I miss? And then I have to go back. It's annoying. (laughs) Um... One that I would love a remake to get a remake like would be Zoid's Old Chaotic Century. The old Zoids. Yeah. Oh. With Van Fly High and like that was when Zoids was fantastic. And if like honestly, it's one of my top for animes. I just realized a lot of my favorite animes are just older animes because I, although I do love new anime and like what they are. It's just some of the stories just don't hit me as much as like the old animes did. Like mobile. It's suit, like nostalgia. 
Yeah. Mobile Suit Gundam needs a fucking modern remake. Mobile... Some of them did not age well. Mobile, Su- Mobile Suit G Gundam needs a remake. I loved G Gundam. It was... Honestly, after watching that, it kind of ruined all the mecha shows for me. It really did. I just... It, it really just came down to, like... I can't remember which Gundam series it was. But at some point... Everybody had a Gundam, yeah. and there was nothing special about it. You know what I mean? Yeah. Like, I, I remember these Gundams were terrifying units. They demolished armies. They were important. These pilots mattered. And then at some point, it was just like, did you hear Timmy's got a Gundam? <laughs> like, <laughs> like how the fuck did he get a Gundam? He got a Gundam. I don't know yeah, why, he got he, it on sale. He picked it up for like a hundred bucks. <laughs> like what the, the reason, fuck? Like the reason why I love G Gundam is that's pretty much what the story's about. It's like the whole world got into a whole, like pretty much war and destroyed all of planet Earth. That they had to make their own countries now be in space instead. Yep. And then they use Earth as a battleground for the Gundam tournament for which country gets to be, like, the chancellor of the world, like, the whole, yeah, world for so so on and so forth for years to come until, like, someone dethrones their Gundam in the next Gundam tournament. Like, that, like, I just, it's a cult anime because some people don't consider it a mobile suit. Gundam for some reason even though it clearly is and it's just one that although there's some cheesy moments in it a lot of cheesy moments it was honestly the way they had everything set up with the Gundams where the person that's driving the Gundam is not sitting in a cockpit or cockpit or anything they're actually had a martial artist or a boxing background in something and they were controlling it and moving it as themselves and fighting kind of like um real evangelion Steel. have you ever seen a uh uh, Ev- uh evangelion sorry no yeah yeah i think you would absolutely love that anime uh apex legends right now has anime skins right now and revenant skin is from that anime okay and one of my mains, Watson, hers is Naruto. Like actual Naruto or a Naruto she has, skin? She has a Jonin vest, Naruto's orange like stuff, his uh, jutsu fucking scrolls in the back. Oh, the sage mode stuff? Yeah. So, unpopular opinion, I don't like that, that mode. Sage mode? I'm more... Yeah, I don't like Sage Mode. I don't like the way it looks. To me, I, I understand the power to it and stuff like that. But to me, I love the Ninetales cloak. So my when opinion that... is that it would have been cooler if we got to see... Because it's... The Sage Mode is like their summoner. Like the summoning contracts. Like their version of yeah. Sage. So like I would love to see other summoning contracts sages mode besides the frog one you know what i mean like that would have been cool to have but all you see really is the toad sage art you don't see anyone else's besides whatever fucking kabuto turned into well yeah but that's you know i just feel like out of all of his forms i love the cloak form like the original og cloak form when it starts to like burn off and boil off his skin and yeah. shit, that to me was just like the fuck happened there. That's how you. That's how you do power creep. Because had that same thing have been applied to like Goku Super Saiyan, where like yeah you can use Super Saiyan, but it burns your fucking skin off. What? That's <laughs> wild. <laughs> there, there's so much stuff like I can d- dwell into with Naruto's verse that I would have loved to see happen that. It would have to be, like, a whole episode of our own instead of just talking about it briefly. Yeah. This just... I feel like, you know, now that we're, like, s- slowly going off topic and 
somehow we ended up on Dragon Ball Z again. Goku's power creep is just too much. I mean, it is, and I get it, but we still love it. <laughs> I mean, we do. We still love it, though. But then there needs to be bigger negative effects to these things, right? Well, we, like we saw it with Ultra Instinct, though. Yeah, but power. he was out for like what a fucking day. No, he needed to be out. Like, if you wanted to make things interesting, after the World of Power, or when he comes down from that, he's out for like a year. He can't do shit for a fucking year. Like his that, are like deteriorated, and yeah, yeah, he's just like done for and then it sets him back and he has to train to go back to where he was at that's how you do a negative impact on a move i get i bet you he would fucking think twice before using it again like that's how you do negative side effects the whole thing like ko ken is a stress on the body is bullshit because he goes like ko ken 20 like goes, all the time Time all, really. all the fucking time. He's just throwing numbers. It doesn't even. He's just <laughs> throwing up matter. gang signs and shit. He's just like East Side West Side doesn't fucking matter. And, <laughs> East Side West Side does Okay, okay, times fifty. <laughs> he's just like check it out. I have black hair. I have gold hair. I have red hair. I have blue hair. I have white hair. I just like pick a fucking color, bro. <laughs> It should just be like going through the rainbow. It's just like shiny as shit. Fucking just, Nappa's poor ass. He's like, I'm bald. <laughs> he goes, Does he, he even uh, have hair? When Nappa goes Super Saiyan, he gets hair. <laughs> That's part of the transformation. That's why he's in so much pain. He's growing out hair. <laughs> oh my god. Oh god. Poor Nappa really did get the short end of that stick. I mean,. What about Raditz, though? Raditz kind of got fucked over, too. Yeah, but he had it coming. Yeah. You kidnap a kid. You that's on you. You, you kidnap <laughs> your nephew. You're kind of fucked, bro. <laughs> yeah. You you kidnap family, bro. What's that's on you. you. What's wrong with you? I'm, like, trying to look over at my video games and trying to think of, like, what would be a good anime? I feel... Uh, okay, so now let's talk about Power Creep. We're already on it. What would be a good negative reaction to going Super Saiyan? Um, the first time, it, you, like you brought up, like the first time you use it, it knocks you out. Like you can't use it again without. Like you have to. I think for him to be able to constantly use it, every time he uses it, it has a negative side effect until like. I'm trying. I'm trying to think of the words to say to like make it sound good. Like, say like it just the, eats after, away his stamina or something while or, he's using it. Or after a while, like his body gets used to it and he can use it longer. Like instead of it being like after five times, Goku can stay Super Saiyan the whole fucking day. No, like it takes him training of constantly putting his body under the pressure of the Super Saiyan power. For him to finally be able to use it as long as he wants. There, I thought of it. There it is. <laughs> I'm like, I'm trying to think of like how to word it. I'm like, no, like okay, he needs to that, that's a his... way to like keep it. But what's the negative rebound to it? There, there, like for each action, there should be an opposite reaction, right? So like, well, when you punch somebody, is, you're doing damage to it, but at the same time. Your fist is probably going to no, hurt. I, I thought of it. It's actually what? a negative reaction for being a Saiyan. They constantly have to eat. They constantly have to eat to keep their stamina up and their body going. Can I be a Saiyan? I mean, yeah, because I would not be <laughs> as fat as I am right now if I was a Saiyan. <laughs> because think no, about it. As you mentioned it, I really haven't thought of Like, I haven't really pictured a fat Saiyan. Exactly, because there just, isn't any. Because their metabolisms exist. are so strong and so high, they have to eat a whole room full of food, and they'll still be hungry because of it. That's a down. Oh my god! The that's downside a, is just hunger. Yeah, it's just like the, just that, being a saiyan. You're always that's, hungry. <laughs> that's the downside of being a saiyan. 
Look at Vegeta. We never see Vegeta eat so much except for some of filler episodes where we sh- we see him, Gohan, eating as much. All the Saiyans eating as much as they can because of the No, you're Saiyan. fucking right. Because even Piccolo's just like... This Piccolo disgusting. doesn't need to eat, though, but like, you know... <laughs> Piccolo's like, this is absolutely disgusting. Like, all of them, like, are disgusted because the Saiyans, because of their metabolisms, have to constantly be eating to keep it going. Okay. But that, how does that negatively affect Super Saiyan? Super Saiyan okay, specifically. Let's, let's this make, is just, a, like, this is an all-Saiyan thing. Let's make Goku doesn't eat for a day, tries to go Super Saiyan, it lasts a second. He's fucked because he has no stamina. He has no food in his belly to keep him going. All right. He has, Let's no, do, he has uh, no nourishment for it. Super Saiyan 2. Oh, you just fucked. <laughs> I, uh, Super Saiyan 2. Uh, I, I agree with most of the fandom where Super Saiyan 3 shouldn't exist. Um, and Super I mean, Saiyan it was 2 cool should have it kept happened. It, it is fucking cool and I fucking love the artwork, but it shouldn't exist. Yeah, It should be Super Saiyan. Super Saiyan 2, which I feel personally, personally, it only should have happened to Gohan and nobody else. Yeah. Hear me out. Hear me out on this. Right? Give him the benefit of being the Saiyan human hybrid. And his human half is what was actually able to increase his Saiyan half somehow. Because he doesn't but have to eat as much as his father does. Boom. It's such a power food spike. <laughs> yeah, food again. It's such a power spike. And then uh, the the theory and the the theory behind Gohan being able to be uh, Gohan has the potential to be the strongest Saiyan on Earth, but chooses not to be. I and mean, I, his Super it, Saiyan two form. Or his perfect form, or whatever it's fucking called, that happens. He's, he's with had his, with his Kai, the Kai's. power unlocked how many fucking times? How many times has it, his and power it been like unlocked? Every fucking day, his power is being unlocked. He, so. he, yeah, yeah. he meets somebody. <laughs> he's just like, oh man, there's so much power in you. Let me do. Mm, oh, let me okay, sprinkle my fingers a little bit quick. Let me a do a little sprinkle right there, <laughs> and then. And he's like, Whoa! I'm like 10 <laughs> times stronger than I was before. Let me go to Namek. And then this fat slime thing is just like, <laughs> come here, boy. Let me put my hand on your head. <laughs> you have some hidden potential in you. Brr. Oh, I'm super strong now. <laughs> He makes it back to Earth, <laughs> and then the fucking Kai's are like, "Dude, you're so strong. You need more." But you know what? Life. You could be stronger. You know what's even this crazy? motherfucker just is like, he he's gaining himself, <laughs> like literally, like who you, who fucking put the nine tails in fucking Gohan? You because like, <laughs> you know what's even crazier? He ended up in this like water planet, and then all of a sudden this dragon came out of the water and was like hey i can unlock your potential but i'm gonna do about 350 <laughs> oh, get out of here like this monster <laughs> oh but get yeah out, no I was, just like, I was just thinking about it like all the fucking like put it this way the strongest boo was boo when they took gohan yeah <laughs> so i was like okay Forcing Vegeta can... and Goku to have to fuse to fight. <laughs> Bro, that's a story on its own. Can you imagine? The, what's the negative side? Of, well, actually, there is technically negative side effects of fusing. If they, use the, if... if they use the earrings, like, they can't unfuse. Well, they're not supposed to be able to. Unfuse. Yeah, right? Loop, <laughs> like, talk about plot holes. <laughs> <laughs> oh, what? How did we unfuse? Oh, because we're inside Boo. What? Oh, okay. Yeah. yeah. That, 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 yeah. That Fucking earrings sense. don't work here, I guess. I don't know. That makes sense. <laughs> Dude, uh, what if Gohan actually is stronger than both Goku and Vegeta, 
but he sees how Goku and Vegeta f- always fight to be the strongest, and he just doesn't want to get involved. He's like, nah, I'm, not, I'm done with that shit. He just doesn't like want to do it. Honestly, I think that was like the underlying <laughs> undertone of the show is that Gohan was like, <laughs> I feel He's like, like that's why his mom was like, bitch, you listen to me right now. <laughs> no, you I don't even think training. it was that. You're not training. I think it was, <laughs> I think it was Gohan's idea because he's probably like, hold on, hold on. Hold on. I can go into space where I'm away from everybody I know and love to risk my life on a planet that I didn't know existed 10 minutes ago. Or I could stay here on earth. Fuck Videl. <laughs> and have all the money I need because this Mr. Satan? Oh, fuck. Yeah, I'm, I'm, gonna pick, <laughs> I'm gonna stay on Earth. Uh, turns out I'm not a fighter. <laughs> Dad, you got this, right, Dad? Dad, you got this? You got this, Dad? Uh, I'm, I'm gonna go, you know. You know. <laughs> yeah, yeah. You know, you know you how know. you got me? I'm gonna go make some of my own. <laughs> and, and Goku just goes, I don't know what you're talking about. What do you mean? Got you. What? Yo, Goku is so fucking tub. <laughs> Goku is the the episode is just like uh fuck, I can't remember if it like what filler episode it was where he's just like oh, haven't you ever kissed Chi-Chi or something like that? It might be the abridged version. We're just like, "No, I've never kissed Chi-Chi." Like, "Wait, what?" But I, no, I thought that no, happened in man, Super. Go to, did it happen in Super? I, I, I feel dude, like I'm that getting it all super. fucking mixed up. He's just like, "How did you <laughs> this what man, do you mean, fucking Goku is fucking savage. He's just like, nah, I ain't gonna kiss you. I'm just gonna put that in there, and we're gonna call it a day. <laughs> you do <laughs> like... the work, sweetheart. <laughs> you have as many kids as you want. Okay, sweetheart. Oh, my I'm, God. I'm just here to train. <laughs> <laughs> what? I'm just here to train. And what if Goten isn't actually need? Goku's kid? I mean, that's kind of impossible considering the first image we see of him is with Goku's hair. Right, but you know who also has Goku's hair? Who? Pretty much everybody in Goku's family. Like, <laughs> So you're saying Bardock came and fucked his, his son's wife? I'm not saying <laughs> Bardock did it. I'm just saying it, the only, the only it, other thing literally, <laughs> literally it runs in the family, right? So anybody with his DNA, a.k.a. Only- Raditz? Raditz is dead though. Did did Raditz is he get... though? I mean, last time we saw, he was in hell. So, but he had his body. <laughs> oh, that old uh, that old filler episode where they were moving, where they came back from hell. Raditz just walked up to Chi-Chi, cut his hair, it was like, "Oh, what's up, Chi-Chi?" <laughs> you know who I want to make a return? Hey. Cell. I want yeah. Cell to make a return. Hear me out. I mean, he's an I want Cell to make so... a return where literally it was not even a single cell, but part of a single cell. So it took longer for him to regenerate. And he was so far off in space that it took him forever to get back to Earth. And that entire time he survived and trained in his mind and came back with godlike powers because that's how they would have to roll that story. But still. <laughs> Doesn't sound that good. I'm gonna be honest. With you. <laughs> All the fans would be like, "You got to be fucking shitting me, really? This guy okay. again?" Okay. How about this one? He was complaining to Janimba, and then Janimba wanted to see this Goku for himself. So while we get Isn't Cell, Janimba we also get GT? Janimba. Shh, no, Janimba was movie, non-canon. Yeah, but I exactly. want him canon. No, I, dude. If <laughs> no. we get Janin, if we get Janimba, we get PyCon. Yeah, but he's just Walmart. We get brand. PyCon. He's a Walmart brain Piccolo. We get PyCon. <laughs> <laughs> Dude, I remember watching I... Toonami when I was younger, and they just kept replaying the Underworld tournament. Like it was literally almost like three months of just, hey, we're just gonna keep showing this. That's it. Yep, over and over and over again. <laughs> and I'm like, I just watched this episode yesterday. I don't know why I just almost went a little British there. I don't know why. But oh, it's okay. The, uh, do you remember when Tsunami did the thing where it's just like, we're going to advance the story one episode a week. But what they would do is like, uh, they would let's say play episodes one, two, three, four, five, 
right? And then next week they would just play two, three, four, five, and then six. And then they would go back and it'd be three, four, five, six, seven. Yep. And they would just keep going back. Well, they did that all the way to Namek up until Goku got into the um healing chamber. The chamber. Yeah, the healing chamber. I have seen Goku in that healing chamber more. I've seen him more in that that healing chamber than I have the rest of the fucking show. Like, <laughs> it, I can't watch that episode anymore. <laughs> I like I have I feel like I have to skip over most of the Namek saga if I go back to rewatch Dragon Ball at this point. Yeah. It's just like. <laughs> she would tell you like uh, I'm not doing anything you know what she did you, you moved that monitor you heard it right yeah. or did you not okay I, um, I actually do have a question since we're on the topic of Dragon Ball Z what game would you like to see make a comeback from the Dragon Ball Z video games I have one in mind I have two in mind and they're old, so I'm kind of curious to see what yours would be. I was a big fan of DBZ Legends. I don't think I played for DBZ the, Legends. Well, for the PS1, they didn't have HP. You had this bar, right? Mm -hmm. And there was a stick in the middle. And depending on how good your fight was, it would either go all the way to the right or all the way to the left. And then when you made it to that side, it once you got to a certain point, there's like these little uh, goal posts or goal things. Once you made it to that side, you would have to do your combo finisher to score a point. And basically it would do like a Kamehameha or a Spirit Bomb or some sort of super attack. And then you would do a point of damage. And the first person to do three points of damage wins that fight. It was very competitive. Um, but I also just want an MMO. Like, I want a full-fledged AAA MMO. That would be and I don't care who makes it. I don't, I don't give a fuck who makes it. Blizzard? Sure. Um, Ubisoft? Not really, but okay, I'll take it. Like, give anybody who wants to fucking make it, do it. Give me Respawn. Respawn? Respawn's been on fire. They're the ones that did okay. Jedi Fallen Order. Oh, okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I thought like a game called Respawn. No. Um, one I would have, it, it was for the Game Boy Color. The Game Boy games were fucking fire. Yeah. The, it, this one was like, uh, was kind of like a trading card game, but wasn't at the same time because it had a story. And, like, they'll be like, oh, if you do the punching, like, if you get, like, the melee cards, you have to do, like, down, right, left, and then A or B to do the combo. And, like, you would do the damage, but then you would get, like, more stamina to do, like, special attacks. And I don't remember the name of the game. But then there was, like, the also the Goku Legacy ones or whatever on the Game Boy Advance. You know which ones I'm talking about? Uh, yeah, where it told the story of Goku, <clears throat> and you ran around looking like Ash, catch him from Pokemon. Yeah, for for yeah. I w I was about to say it'd be cool to have like those redone, but then I just remember that's just Kakarot. <laughs> I still need to play Kakarot. Yeah, I same. It. I do too. There was one game I can't remember if it was for the DS or for the Game Boy. It was around that era when they were making the transition, so I can't remember what the fuck it was. Um, you started off with like these five balls, right? Mm -hmm. They were supposed to be seven, but two of them were always empty and they were supposed to represent like the dragon balls or, I mean, they look like the dragon balls, but they didn't res represent the dragon balls. And anyway, whenever you would do a move, you could either attack for straight damage or you can attack their dragon balls to reduce the dragon ball stuff. Yeah. Um, and it was also like a card game, but like when you played this card, it would be like, okay, you could do three damage to their HP, uh, and then you would have a counter card. We like 
you can spend one Dragon Ball to prevent damage to your health or something like that. Or you can spend a point of health to gain two Dragon Balls. And the whole thing was like getting your opponent either to zero or getting all seven Dragon Balls. Uh, because when you got all seven Dragon Balls, you, you make a wish and win. It was a very interesting like strategy game. It wasn't great as it, it wasn't like a story game. It was just something that we do on free time. Hmm. But each um each character had their own unique thing. So on top of the cards, like Goku's Goku's was stupid because Goku's was just like it, uh if you took damage this turn, gain a Dragon Ball. Like uh and then Vegeta's was just like if you if you did this uh if you did damage this turn gain a dragon ball so they were like the exact opposite goku wanted to get hit vegeta wanted to do the hitting which kind of makes sense actually <laughs> <laughs> so one of the first games i had and i got it for dragon ball was called dragon ball ultimate ba dragon ball z ultimate battle 22 that game had spoilers because it came out like I got it for the PlayStation, and I think at the time, the like the saga we were on might have been the Cell Saga. And this this game had Boo, it had Go Tanks. It there was so many spoilers, but I didn't know who the fuck they were. So I'm like, hey, it's just probably some filler movie stuff. And now that I think about it, because I never truly thought about it. That fucking game had spoilers, damn it. <laughs> oh. Yeah, it did. I know which one you're talking about. They also had released a, and it was a only, Dragon Ball Z GT. It was only for the subbed. PlayStation. It was only sub too. Like there was yep. it wasn't English dubbed or anything. I want to see if I can find it. There the the Dragon Ball Z GT Bout it was called, I think. GT Bout? Yeah, cuz I was That one had Dragon Ball fighting games PS1 and then yeah. that, that one came up. That game was the shit, but it ran like shit on U.S. consoles. Also, I just saw this other one, and it, have, it must have not have been released in America because it's called Dragon Ball Z Infinite World. Never heard of it. Never heard of this game in my life. So let's see what this is. It's a fighting video game for the PS2. Uh, the game was developed by Dimps. Interesting name. And, all right. It only sold... In Japan, seventy six thousand units. The the mechanics for the Budokai series. Blah, blah, blah. The game story called Dragon Mission uses a map with various objective mission icons that retell some of the battles within the manga and anime series. Players take control of their icon, a Goku avatar, by walking or running to the available mission icon. Yeah, this. I can see why it didn't do so well. <laughs> it just sounds like all the other fucking Dragon Ball games at the time. Oh, Dragon Ball GT, the complete series, is on sale for 22 bucks. Yeah, because it's trash. Yeah, but, you know, for 22 bucks. I still wouldn't spend the money for it. <laughs> you know, That's everyone. 22 bucks. No. Everyone liked the Dragon Ball Z Budokai Tenkins. Tenkin. Tenkiachi series or whatever the fuck it's called. I can't think right now. And I thought the games were just okay. Wasn't really big into them. This was the game, man. Uh, let me see if I can fucking save image. Yeah, Dragon Ball GT Final Bout. There it is. Clearly a spoiler alert for everyone else in the world. Well... I mean, if you knew, you knew. True. I'm linking it on our... Uh, this right here. What's the shit? Is it not going to let me send? Did it send? Nope. It hasn't popped up on my Discord. There's just... there's Because we're almost getting to the hour mark, so... Just to wrap, like, kind of start wrapping everything up. There's a lot of anime, a lot of games that could be done for animes. And we only, like, scratched a couple of them. 
Like, we didn't go into full dive of, like, anything else that could be a phenomenal anime. Like, there's so many games. Like, I think at this point, you got to stop doing Resident Evil live actions and make them animes. That's another one that would be really good and easy as an anime. Because you could just do Resident Evil, name of city. That's your entire fucking anime for that city. In that season. Or, yeah, if you wanted to do a city per season. Like, that's but I'm just saying, like, you could do, like, season one of New York. Season two of New York. And then have season one of, like, London. And season two of London. You can literally have... That, that's a franchise that will could go on forever. Yeah. Like, there's just so many. Like, there's going to be, like, if people do make... Like, I hope people decide to comment and be like, Oh, this would have been a fantastic anime or this one. Because, like, we would love to hear people's opinions on, like, what video games would be a fantastic anime. Like, they're finally doing League of Legends, which I still haven't even watched Arcane, but that makes me so happy because just getting, like, the backstory and the lore of everyone is perfect for a fucking anime. And they're finally doing it, and I'm so happy about it. There's just... I love how we just ended up going from talking... About what video games would be perfect as an anime and just went to good old reliable Dragon Ball Z and let's throw in Naruto while we're at it. <laughs> I mean, we, we always have so much to discuss about them, so it's it's going to be in like an endless dip into what Naruto they, and, and Dragon Ball Z. What they could do for Naruto <clears throat> is do like a Naruto Kai where Dragon Ball, Z, Dragon Ball Kai got rid of all the filler. Oh, Naruto would be two seasons. Shibuden would not be that many seasons. <laughs> Shibuden would be like three seasons. Yeah. And maybe like 400 episodes. Because you're getting rid of a lot. Because this is what happens when you do an anime that's manga isn't complete. This is what happens when you start an anime uh, based on a manga... That's not that far along. Had it been like had it been like a hundred chapters in, then they started the anime, they wouldn't have had so many fillers. Maybe fillers near the end. And at that point, it's too late to put in fillers. So what they would have done is literally just made it dramatic as shit. It would have been like the stare downs between Goku and Frieza all over again. Well, we can't can't add in filler on a planet that doesn't really exist anymore. Let's just <laughs> have them stare at each other for two episodes. Oh yeah, Madara, what are you gonna do about this, bitch? What are you gonna do, bitch? <laughs> and can we just say like, why wasn't he the fucking last boss? He should have been the last boss. <laughs> he should have been the final villain. You don't bring in. Aliens out of nowhere! <laughs> out of nowhere! <laughs> it literally was like, aliens. And I'm just like, I remember watch, read. I remember reading it, because I never fought, finished the anime, because I was, they just weren't dubbing any of the episodes that were coming out. They just weren't. And I just remember reading the manga, and I'm like, what the fuck did I just read? I mean, I'm like, aliens? Okay, I understand the sage and everything and how he, like, like you got to add more backstory, but you're adding this backstory when you have, like, 20 chapters left of this whole fucking manga. What are you doing? They didn't need to do that. Exactly. 100% it should have been Madara because it, 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 was all, it was all about Madara from the very fucking beginning. Yeah. It should have... The beginning should have been Madara. The ending should have been Madara. And that's it. And then you can start Aliens with Baruto when nobody cares about no. it. <laughs> <laughs> I think it should have ended. There should have been no... Just like in Harry Potter, there should have been no epilogue. There should have been no, like, oh, Naruto... Like, if you wanted to do something, it should have just been like, hey, this is what you're going to know, is that Naruto became the Hokage. That's it. Like... No, like, who's this family? Who's that family? Adding random romance for no fucking reason. I agree. I, I think it would have been okay had they just shown a glimpse in the future as him as the Kokage 
and then like him holding a baby and then that's it yeah you don't you know, know like who, who's oh hey kid. you don't know who's like who's the mom or anything and just, like, anybody could have been the mom just, he's like, the hokage now yeah just <laughs> let your imagination run wild because then when you add like this is who it was just to let everyone know because we're definitely gonna end this in a minute Hinata had less than 50 manga panels. Less than 50 manga panels. You know what I like the best about Hinata? What, her boobs? That's what everyone else does. The best thing about Hinata is that she doesn't talk much. (laughs) (laughs) You know what's great? Yeah, it's great about her. Okay. I'm, I'm just going to tell you right now. Uh, no, it's not her looks. I'm it's joking, not. by the way. I'm going to get fucking canceled for that joke. <laughs> it's, not, it's not her body or anything or anything like that. It's not the looks. It's not her personality, which she has none. It's uh, it's that she, she doesn't speak. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> you know what I mean? Some people uh, appreciate that. <laughs> and I'm over here like... Uh. <laughs> all right that that's uh that's how we're gonna end this show we're gonna, we're gonna end uh, this. <laughs> good uh, note. comment comment below on what video game you thought would be a perfect anime or whatever book you might think would be a perfect anime because that's honestly a whole other discussion we can have is like what books would be a really good anime not manga. i don't know a lot of books books not manga or light novels books because like now those are going to either turn into manga or animes so yeah that's true books of literature for instance like his dark materials his dark whatever it, the name job right there. there is it's, good it's job the, name, the name's right there <laughs> is my point anyways I'd like to thank everyone for tuning into this lovely hour and three minute episode of the sick minds of Matt and Eric. It's been a blast. I'm just going to, you know, eat food and get ready for my overnight job. Don't know what you're going to do. All right. I got, whoa, what's my, thought my dog was dead. All right. Anyway, (laughs) uh, we should end it there. Be excellent to one another. I'll see you next week. I'll see you later.